or on the Supreme Court's decision to block President Biden's student loan cancellation. Let's bring in Betsy DeVos. She's former education secretary. Uh, Betsy, great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. So two huge decisions involving education, one on affirmative action, the other on student debt. Let's talk about what we're facing today, which is a student debt decision. Um, first of all, we had the Secretary of Education, current Secretary of Education, standing by the president as he just spoke. Uh, all of the student loan programs were kind of transferred, I guess it was under the Obama administration, to the Department of Education. Was that a mistake? Because clearly they made a mess of things. Well, David, first of all, the decision on the part of the court today was clearly the right decision, reaffirming the Constitution. Uh, this was massive executive overreach, and it was nothing but an attempt to buy votes in the midterm elections. And the president's proclamations today are nothing but an attempt to continue to tr curry favor with those voters he wants and needs to have supporting him for reelection. This was illegal. He acknowledged it when he was running for president. Nancy Pelosi said it was illegal. Um, Congress is the one with the power of the purse. And uh, the court reaffirmed what we knew to be the case today with that decision. Yeah. And actually, Congress reaffirmed it uh, in a couple of uh, votes that were taken, one in the House and one in the Senate uh, within the past month as well. But the president today came out with this new plan that he has. And again, we'll have to explore the details. But it's a 12-month, what he calls an on-ramp repayment system, essentially giving a 12-month pause before uh, the, the loans are deferred for, for any kind of delinquency. Uh, do you think that will pass the muster with the Supreme Court? Or we, may we be right back in front of the Supreme Court with another student debt decision? Well, I think all of the proposals that he launched out there today are, uh, again, beyond the power of the executive. And um, as I and four other former Republican secretaries of education noted in a brief filed for the case the court decided today, um, there is very limited power for the secretary, for the executive branch, with regard to the student loan program. And you can't just wave a magic wand and create more power. So so, uh, again, I think uh, President Biden is is doing um, the, the bidding of the far left progressives mm -hmm. to try to satisfy their demands and doing so, um, continuing to throw up trial balloons that are simply not going yeah. to work and are simply against the law. You know, beyond the cost and the constitutionality of all this, there is a, a question of whether a college education is worth the cost because... The price, tuition, has gone up two and a half times more than inflation over the past 30, 40 years. Uh, you, you wonder if you're getting that much more because a lot of people look at college graduates and say they seem less prepared uh, to deal with the real world than they were 20 or 30 years ago when it was much cheaper. Is, is that going to be part of, of what Americans uh, start thinking about as, as this, uh, these decisions begin to settle in? Well, I think those are very valid questions, and this administration should get serious about providing serious answers and or proposals to addressing the runaway cost of higher education. What we need for students that want to pursue higher education is more uh, creativity and more openness around providers of higher education. That's exactly what we endeavored to do with accreditation uh, regulations while we were in office. Those are set to take root now. Of course, this administration is trying to turn them back. But students should be much more discerning today about what, whether what they are going to go into with higher education is actually going to have value to them in the long term. And uh, this is something that we should be holistically looking at together and yeah. coming up with really sound, valid uh, solutions, right. not simple gimmicks like the president continues to propose. Yeah, but I mean, college is it's almost like a, a reverse return on investments <laughs> When you look on it, look at how much it costs now and what you're getting for that cost. Uh, a lot of people, I think, are going to be rethinking if college is the right decision or not before they take out that loan. Betsy DeVos, thank you so Absolutely. much for that. The former Department, Secretary of the Department of Education.